We begin by lighting our candle to remember God's light is with us wherever we are. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus went out among the people to bring good news to the poor, to heal the sick, to raise the dead to new life, to show God's power and love. After Jesus spent the day with the people, he was tired and he got into a boat with his disciples, his friends and helpers, to cross to the other side of the sea. As they were crossing the sea, when they were still a long way from the other shore, a great storm came up. The waves billowed over the boat. The wind blew all around them. The disciples were afraid. They were worried they were going to drown. And Jesus was asleep in the back of the boat. And they called out, Master, don't you care that the storm is going to kill us? And Jesus woke up. And he said to the wind, stop. And he said to the waves, be still. And the wind stopped. And the waves were still. And the sea was calm and safe again. And Jesus' disciples looked at him and they saw what he had done to the storm. And they wondered, who is this that even the wind and the waves obey him? And now we're going to wonder as well. And if you want to pause the video and wonder with the people that you're with, you can do that. I wonder what your favourite part of this story was. I wonder what the most important part of this story was. I wonder what it felt like to be out at sea in a little boat in the middle of a storm. I wonder what it felt like when the storm stopped. I wonder why it took Jesus so long to stop the storm. I wonder where you are in this story. I wonder why Jesus' friends thought he might be able to help. I wonder if you've ever been somewhere that felt like being in a storm. I wonder who or what helped you. I wonder if there's anything in your house that you would like to use to make something or play with this story. I wonder if you have any questions or thoughts or ideas about the story. And we can keep wondering throughout the week. But for now, our story is finished.